this podcast is for anyone tired of sitting on the couch watching fucking Netflix. For anyone who wants to know how to break the nine to five slave life. For anyone who wants to be better tomorrow than they are today. I want to help you learn how to break the cycle. This is your story and you have to write it. Come on in. We're just getting started. Hey, 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 what is up, everybody? This is the Getting Started Podcast, and as always, I am your host, Sean Buster. Um, guys, I wanted to come at y'all today. Uh, talk a lot about a lot of different things on the show, and I've got to, you know, try to do a lot of different interviews for you guys with different industry leaders and different business people and different entrepreneurs. Today, though, I want to take a minute. Um, one thing that everybody that I've interviewed seems to have in common is core values. And I know you've probably heard that term before, but have you ever sat down and really thought about what it meant and what your core values were? Well, I did a little exercise that was recommended to me through uh, one of my mentors, Miss Tiffany Toombs. It was uh, a wonderful exercise to do, and it really helped me kind of distinguish what my true core values were. And I'm going to do a little, I guess, sort of a mini series. And we're going to go over the next several weeks. And I'm going to talk about my different core values so that maybe it will help you determine your core values. And now when I say core values, I'm not talking about like, well, I love my wife and I love my kids. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Core values are, th- are things that you incorporate into your everyday actions, regardless of what the situation is, what the circumstance is. These are the stances you have taken that you are not going to budge nor waver for nor compromise for because they go against your core being your core self and the first one on my list because i've got about eight that i truly truly believe in the first one on my list is a, sort of a double header it's honesty and integrity and they kind of go hand in hand in my book and you're always told don't lie don't lie don't lie always tell the truth But you've got to do more than that. You've got to tell the truth to yourself, who is the person you lie to the most. And I know you guys do it. I do it. I'm breaking that habit. I'm doing everything in my power to break that habit because I'm not lying to myself no more. Those days are over. Uh, I've taken my stance. I've set, stood my ground. And it is time for us all to stop lying to ourselves. And that's about anything. I mean, guys, fuck, I'm overweight. I'm fucking fat. And for years I gave myself excuses. You know, I'm big boned or I'm husky and, you know, I made jokes about it, whatever. Truth is I'm fucking fat and I need to lose some goddamn weight. You know what? I accept that and I own that. And I'm taking small steps to do that now. I've got an elliptical machine. That I literally tore apart, put back together, cleaned, and fixed because it was in just fucking ramshackle shape. And I moved the damn thing into my living room so that I can keep up with some of my shows. Because yes, I do still have some shows. I'm a big, huge comic book nerd and I absolutely love watching superhero TV shows. Don't like it? Fight me. I don't care. But this is a way that I can watch my shows and be productive at the same time. Most of y'all know if you go to the gym, they got big screen TVs everywhere, especially around the treadmill area. Watch TV while you run. Well, you know what? I can do that at home now. I ain't got to deal with that stank ass sweat smell. And I ain't got to go and get up at 4 a.m. to go find a, you know, halfway empty gym somewhere. And I'm, and I'm not doing major leaps and bounds. I'm not out here running for, you know, 10 miles at a time or nothing. No, I'm fucking fat, y'all. I'm telling you, I just now got started on this shit. Uh, not to mention I'm dealing with a umbilical hernia, which is a hernia located right around your belly button, which let me tell you, fucking sucks. But 10 minutes at a time don't hurt me. 15 minutes at a time don't hurt me. You stack up those little small things and it starts to work and it starts to build. I mean, when I first got out, the first day I did 13 minutes, I thought I was going to die. The second day I did 15 minutes, I thought I was going to die. And then, you know what? I slipped and I didn't do it for about three or four days. Well, got back on that horse. I made it for about 10 minutes and thought I was going to die. Yesterday I got on it. You know what? 
I did it for 10 minutes straight. Wasn't panting and wheezing and breathing heavy. Just kind of small sweat broke out and that was it. You know what? That's a win in my book. So later today, I'm going to try to go for 15 straight and see what happens. But you know, you, going back to what I was on, you got to be honest with yourself. You got to be honest with your friends. You got to be honest with your family. You got to be honest with everybody. Don't hide shit. Don't keep no damn secrets. Don't get me wrong. There are things that are not to be dealt with in public that are meant to be dealt with at home or meant to be dealt with, you know, behind closed doors in an office building somewhere because they're just not public related issues that don't, they don't need to be out there. But, and when I'm asked about them, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to say, you know, I don't want to talk about that. So I'm going to be, I'm being honest with everybody else. And I've always tried to be honest. I'm usually very bluntly and painfully honest, but that's just my nature. And integrity guys, I mean, I shouldn't even have to bring this up, but in this day and age, I have to do the right fucking thing. Even when no one's looking, you know, you, you can base your, your level of integrity off of what you do when nobody else is watching you and what you do when the lights go out, you know, if, if you're, you know, you know, branding yourself as being the hardest damn worker there is. But you're the first one hitting the door at break time and the first one hitting the door at time to clock out. You're not the hardest worker there is because the hardest worker there is, is the last one to leave. He's the first one there in the morning. He's the last one to leave. And he's the one that gets the most shit done in a day. And integrity is about, you know, showing up when you say you're going to show up. It's about being who you say you are. You know, everybody's out there now, well, I'm a hundred, I'm a hundred. You know, we, we got to do this a hundred. We got to be real. We got to stay real. You know what, guys? Most of those motherfuckers saying that shit aren't fucking real. They're not. I mean, I, I don't know how to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They're just, they're fucking not. They're fucking fake. And they're fucking full of shit. And that's just how it is with some people. It sucks. But all we can do is, you know. Try to encourage them to be better. You know, I told myself in this last, you know, few months that I was going to start showing up for my kids more. I was going to start being there for my kids more. And I have been. It's been a process. I'm not going to lie. You know, being a construction worker, I work fucking ridiculous hours sometimes. Sometimes, you know, like not a week ago, I had to show up at work at two o'clock in the morning because we had to do some shit on an occupied space. That involved us getting into the floor below us. Well, we had to do it when nobody else was going to be there. So we got there before anybody else got there. Way before anybody else got there. But even, you know, despite all the crazy work hours, you know, I've been taking, I've been being, making sure I'm the one that takes my daughter to dance. Or one day a week, I take my son to Taekwondo class. Or one day a week, you know, I just sit down. I just, I, I watch movies and play with my youngest son who isn't really involved in anything right now. And my oldest stepdaughter, she's, uh, well, she, she's into boys right now. She's 14 and I, I, I at least try to make the effort to speak with her and talk to her and advise her to stay away from boys. I'm sure she's going to listen about like a brick wall does, but Hey, you know, we were all that age once. All I can do is lead by example and hope that, you know, she is smart enough and uses at least some of the teachings that I've taught her to be cautious in her endeavors. But anyways, guys, those, those are my, that's the first of my first set of my core values. Honesty, integrity, they, they take you a long way in life. They help a lot with being authentic. They help a lot with just overall being a good fucking person. And that's what we need in this world. We need more good fucking people. You know, no bullshit politics. All politics aside, all religions aside, we just need to be better fucking people. And if you can incorporate honesty and integrity into your core values and make them a part of you as though they were the skin you wear or the blood inside you, the whole fucking world would be so much of a better place. 
So I hope everybody liked this little rant. And I know I needed to get it off my chest. And I've got more, guys. I've got, you know, a whole list more to do for y'all. So I hope y'all will take this message. I hope y'all will listen, listen to it and think on it and build on it. And implement it. Incorporate it into your everyday life. So, you know, start building yourself out a list of core values. Sit down and just think about who it is you are. The kind of people you want around you. <clears throat> and the way that you want to handle yourself when in public and in private. And start making your own list of core values. Write them down. You know, it, it makes it more real when you write it down. It takes the quantum thoughts inside your head and turns them into tangible, seeable words on paper i know it sounds crazy guys but i promise you it works i probably never would have done it if i hadn't actually put it on paper myself i did and here i am and i'm looking at my list right now talking about this with y'all but that's it for me guys y'all have a great rest of the day uh go out there kick some ass take some names and emails and crush the day and i will see you guys on the next episode of the getting started podcast Later.